Hey, this is Carrie with Canary Quilts, and we are on our eighth month of the Birds of a Feather Quilt Along. This is something that I put together because I am part of Fat Quarter Shop's Solid of the Month Club, and this year their club is, the colors are curated to North American birds. And the quilt that they suggest using is very pretty. Don't get me wrong, it's very pretty, but I didn't want to do it. We're all like that. There's some quilts we just don't want to do. So I put together my own, and I'm using blocks each month. This is a mystery sampler that have bird names. So behind me, you can see what we've gotten done so far. Um, and this is eight, and this is based on the grackle bird, which I'm not familiar with, but it is a beautiful purplish, greenish, black-hued bird. It's really pretty. Um, so we got all these beautiful colors, and this block is called Goose on the Pond. But if you follow me, this is also the New Mexico State block. So all these blocks are utilized and named. I've seen several of the same blocks with different names. Um, but I found this as Goose on the Pond, and so it's going into my quilt of the Birds of a Feather. So all my blocks, as I said, are bird named blocks and um, they've been really fun to put together. I've utilized all 12 fat quarters in all my blocks and I did the same here. So that's uh, other than a couple of these blocks, like this block was kind of challenging, but the most challenging is to try to put 12 colors in a block. It's, it's pretty hard and have it not look messy. Um, you don't have to be a part of Fat Quarter Shop's Solid of the Month Club to do this. You can go to my website, you can grab these patterns, you can do this yourself with scraps that you've got. Um, if you've got solid, you've got batiks, whatever you've got, you can do these. And um, it's been a lot of fun. So I said, I already put together my first two rows, as you can see. There's going to be outer borders, but um, I just wanted to see what it was going to look like. I was getting really excited. It's better than what it was in my mind's eye. Let's just put it that way. I've just been really excited about it. But anyway, I have all the links down below in my description to my website so you can grab the pattern, to the fabrics if you're interested. They do have these fat quarter bundles available. Um, maybe you don't want to do this quilt, but you like the colors, so you can grab the fat quarter bundle. Um, or, and, not or, and, you can hit the subscribe button, notification bell, you get notified of when I do my birds of a feather, when I do all the other fun stuff we got going on here. Right now I'm part of a 30 day um, improv quilt along, and I do state blocks, and I'm going to have other fun quilt alongs, so it's fun. But anyway, let's get started on our August Grackle Goose on the Pond block. All right, we are on block number eight of the Birds of a Feather um, quilt along. Um, can I just say that I, this quilt is turning out to be even prettier than it was in my mind's eye when I started this, if that's possible, but it really is. I mean, every month I just get these fabrics and I'm just like, I put the blocks together. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I just, and I love to look at birds anyway, so it's just such a great theme to me, and the color curations have been really good. Um, the only thing I had to say about the color curations was last month in Oriel. I was surprised we didn't get a black, but that's fine. It turned out so pretty. But this month, we've got the grackle colors, and there's a picture of the grackle right there. If you're new here, I'm using Fat Quarter Shop Solid of the Month Club. You do not have to use it. You can choose your own colors. You can use batiks or whatever you want to do this um, and still have a bird themed quilt. But that's how I'm doing it. I get 12 fat quarters. I distribute them out into my block and then we put it together and we get such a pretty block. So the other thing is if you've been watching my channel, this is the New Mexico State block. So I have done this block before. It is not a hard block. In fact, I do have them labeled by letter. 
for the different pieces, but you really don't need that because all the letters are going together. It's not a puzzle or anything like that. All the C's right here in this nine patch go together. All the D's in this strip go together. The B's are just patches and they're all the same size. And the A's are getting turned into half square, uh, yeah, half square triangles blocks. So I didn't even label these by letter. Um, I labeled them by number. It is, I do have these laid out how I think they look the best by color. So that's how I've numbered these. Um, and they're the same as in my um, Fat Quarter Shop diagram here. And I have that in the back of the pattern so you can see what I'm working off of. I also had someone ask me how much fabric is left from the Fat Quarter after we do this. And there is a lot of fabric left. And I am cutting two blocks out of mine because I'm cutting my mom's blocks also. So, I mean, there is a lot of fabric left. So you're not um, using all the fabric just for this quilt along. It's just a uh, quilt we're putting together with these colors and with this club. So let's go through this real quick. These little pieces you see here are our nine patch. And these are all the colors that are going into the nine patch. And my color 12 is going into the nine patch and the strip patch here. So that's what you see here is these strips. There's three of them. And then the A, these uh, three colors, wait, no, these three colors right here. And I'm looking at this and I'm pretty sure I cut this the wrong size. It should be the same size as six. So I need to recut that, but that's not a problem. It needs to be smaller. Anyway, these three colors are fabrics, a, 10, 11, 4 are going into the half square triangles here in the corner, and there's going to be six of each colorway. This is the patches that are in between the half square triangles on the outside, and then this three, which I need to cut down, is going to be the center patch right there. So it looks like a lot in the block, but it's not. You're going to put all the little pieces together, you're going to put all the strips together, you're going to put these together, and then these get added in at the end when we put the block together. So, um, what I'm going to start with is the half square triangle. So I'm going to get set up to do that. That's really easy. Alright, for our half square triangles, we're going to use our A pieces, which are the 10, 11, and 4 colors. And on 10 and 11, I have marked a diagonal line, and we're going to match all of these up with our 4. So they're both, we're going to have, we're going to end up with six half square triangles in this color and six in this color. So we're just going to put a seam on both sides of this line, a quarter inch away. We're going to trim on the line and we're going to iron towards the dark, which is the four, the color, the fabric number four, color four. So pretty easy. We've done that quite a few times and um, I'm just going to get these done and we'll set these aside and move on to the next section. Got my seams on both sides of my diagonal line. Now I'm gonna cut on the line and then we will end up with two half square triangles. And we're gonna to iron towards the dark navy blue. I guess navy is dark. And then we're done with these. All right, here's my half square triangles and I've ironed them towards the dark and I trimmed the tails off. And I've left the 10 and the 11 on because those are the two different colors here. So next, we wanna do these strip pieces right here. And those are gonna be the D pieces. We'll need eight, 17, and 12. So I'm gonna put my 12 squares back over here and it's gonna go like this. Not 17, that is seven. So we're gonna do 12, seven, and eight. So this is how this is gonna to go together. We're gonna to sew these together. We're gonna to iron towards the middle piece. That's it, pretty easy. So let me get these done. There are my strip pieces. 12, seven, and eight are the colors in this strip piece and you make four of them. And I'm not, go I don't need to mark these. Um, I know how they're gonna go, so. 
I'm going to get set up for our nine patch because we're going to have two sets of nine patches that we need to do. All right, here's our nine patch. This may be the most complicated part of the block, but it's really not that hard. We need, because of the way the colors are laid out, we need two of this colorway, and then we need two of the mirror image of this. So you can see I've got one, color one, here in these corners. Two is in these corners. Twelve is up here, and nine is down here, and then I have a five in the middle. And this is just the mirror opposite. And I do have that in the pattern, how to lay it out. So I'm only going to work on one of these at a time so I don't get confused. So we're just going to um, put these just together like a nine patch. We're going to put our rows together. We are going to, the top and bottom rows, we're going to iron to the outside corners. And then the middle row, we're going to iron towards the center. Both of these are exactly the same. And then when we come back and put our rows together, they're going to be ironed towards the outside rows. That way they should nest with these when we put them together. All right. All of that's in the pattern. I've got arrows and everything indicating, so hopefully it doesn't confuse you. But that's how we're putting it together, and I am going to get started. All right, there's my first um, colorway put together in rows, and then I just transferred my numbers over here so I wouldn't get confused. Now I'm just going to put my rows together, and there's nested seams, and uh, we're going to iron towards the outside rows. So I guess iron towards the pieces with the green, or the rows with the green in them. Here is my first nine patch put together. So now I'm going to do my second one, and then we're just on to making the block. Not making it, assembling the block. How about that? We're on to assembling the block. That's pretty much how easy this one is. It, this one has stood the test of time here. It was the New Mexico State Block. It may have been something before the New Mexico State Block. Now it's called Goose on the Pond. All right, there's my nine patches done. So we have done everything we need to do to get our block put together. All right, so let's start with our half square triangles. And they're going to go in the corner just like this. And then they're going to go in the opposite corner. The same color is going to go in the opposite corner. Like that. And then the other ones will go in the other corner. I hope I left myself enough room. I think I did. Let's just pull it over a little. Our six patch is going to go on the outside edge in between all of these. Okay, pieces, get out of the way. Now we need to build the middle. So let's start with these. And this one goes here. And this one goes here. Which means this one goes here. And this one goes here. I wish they laid flat. And then our strips go just like this and my goal was to get this it's gray so that's why I have gray up here and then I also have it in the outside parts of the nine patch so there's kind of like this gray strip going around the outside and then our three goes in the middle there we go! Oh, we have 25 little pieces here to put together. So I designed it so that we're always ironing away from these because there's so many seams. 
So if you think about it that way, which means we're going to iron towards the outside and towards this piece in these two rows. So, so iron always iron away from these with all the seams in them. And then the rest of your blocks you can see which way, or the rest of the rows you can see which way you need to iron. So I do have arrows in the pattern, but that's a good way to think about it is always iron away from the nine patches. So I'm going to start assembling and I'll break back in and show you how it's going. All right, I got my rows together. Um, from here on out, we're just going to put our, um, put the rows, we're going to sew the rows to each other. How about that? I don't want to say the same thing. We're going to put the rows together like I just said. Anyway, um, always iron away from the nine patch easy way to remember it so I'm gonna get this put together and our little block will be done it's pretty oh there is our grackle block our August grackle bird the blocks called goose in the pond so and you remember it was the New Mexico State block not too hard to put together um, it was fun it's a dark block that's a dark block but I think from a distance it's going to look really pretty. Oh goodness, these are not right. These are not right. Dang it, how did I not catch that? These lighter greens need to be in this corner. Well, I guess I'm ripping it out, turning these, sewing it back together. Well, I made a mistake, but I didn't show you how to put it together wrong, but you just gotta... It's just there's so many colors here, you gotta make sure they're laid out right. I'm sure you saw it when I was doing it. I just didn't see it. I took a lunch break and I guess when I came back it must have moved. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get these switched out and then I'm going to put the sashing on. Well, I made a big old goof. guess that's what I get for taking a lunch break, huh? So I got this block pulled out but then when I tried to turn it it wasn't working and I sewed it together wrong. So it needs to go together like this. So the light green is in line pointing at the center. The maroon is on the inside and the gray is on the outside. And I need to do the same down here, so now I gotta put it back together. Alright, that looks much better. Ah, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, I fixed it. Now I gotta just put it back into the block and do the same thing over here. Alright, all is right with the world now. I fixed it. It took about 15 minutes. And all I did was just rip out to this and I actually had to change these rows the top and bottom rows I don't know what I did but I changed them got them turned around got them in the right spot and then sewed them all back together so it's ready to be sashed now and it is done there we go there is the grackle block also called a goose in the pond block that is the pattern also the New Mexico block um, oh, the sashing looks so beautiful on the outside of this. Just, I love those colors. It turned out really pretty. So there you go. I made a mistake. But you know what? We all make mistakes. I'm not perfect, so I guess I'm going to show you that. And uh, I could have easily redid that and reshot it, but I didn't. I just went ahead and showed you that I made a mistake and how I fixed it. And it worked. And it took about 15 minutes, so I am really happy with this. Let me know uh, how you're doing with this. I've had a lot of people sign up for my newsletter to follow along on this, so there's people out there doing it, and I do. I really appreciate that. Oh, goodness, I pulled a string out. I could pick at strings all day. Um, I do. I really appreciate it, and uh, I want to know how it's going for all of you. But anyway, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. You'll get notified. Um... When I do more of these each month, I have my website down below, which shows the, um, which will lead you to the pattern, and you can catch up if you're new here. Oh, that was fun. That was fun, even though I made a little mistake. It was still a lot of fun, and um, I had a lot of fun making the video too. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.